everybody, welcome to another episode of On the Paint Table. This is my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week I finished six more models for uh, Batman 3rd Edition, Back to Gotham. Uh, this is a Joker's Crew, some thugs. Uh, and then I also started building my Elder Scrolls Carms Cold Arm stuff. I started with the... Um, the adventure set basically has a bunch of Draugr, it's got the Dragonborn, it's got like some other undead skeletons and stuff too. Uh, and also started unpacking some more stuff for Necromunda. Gore Halfhorn has arrived, which I'm pretty stoked to paint. Um, and there's some new stuff coming in for Monster Apocalypse as well. So let's take a look at what got done and what is coming up. So here's my painted pile for this week, uh, the Gotham Thugs. The only thing I haven't finished in the star set now is Harley Quinn. Uh, these are painted with a variety of contrast paints, um, and then just given some highlights and stuff afterwards. I do love all these models. They're all different. Chainsaw Man is crazy with his like face paint. Uh, we got two guns here, and what's cool is they all actually came with alternate heads as well. You can give him Joker masks or not. I give him some faded jeans, uh, and just like his like uh, top button gang style shirt with his, his double guns. This guy with his sweet mustache and face paint, ready to give people the axe uh and then we got stabs over here I, this guy reminds me of the stabbing robot from futurama i don't know why uh shirtless with his like cargo pants this dude smoking a cigarette and hanging out with his uh, clown mask on and his shotgun and the last but not least this dude throwing the gang signs uh wearing the gotham number 12 like t-shirt he's pretty awesome with his bat too so that's all the thugs just hardly left to go. Um, we've already tried the game out with a smaller point value game, but this will finish up my, when I get Harley finished. My new school 350 point crew for Batman 3rd Edition. A lot of fun to paint. Again, uh, for the superhero stuff, I find the contrast paint's really great because you get nice rich saturated colors. Um, and then nice sort of like detail quality on the models lets the, the sort of like, um, the contrast paint do a lot of the work. Now the bases were done with old chaired on granite, dry brushed up with some grays, and then washed down with, uh, I believe it was Creed Camo, uh, and then some uh, Agrax Earthshade gloss in the recesses and stuff too, just to make them pop out. I do like the uh, the grimy kind of like green and brown city streets for the Gotham stuff, and the bases are nice because they're textured like that when you get them in the box. And here's me having unpacked, I was really excited to unpack all this stuff for Elder Scrolls Called Arms. I built the Dragonborn first, because of course I did, and she's great, she's got a shield and sword. Um, and she's on a lipped 30 mil base. You can see untextured 30 mil bases come in the kit. Everything is numbered. So they're numbered on the frame too with the dragger and the skeletons. Uh, and then also blown up here in an exploded assembly guide, which is pretty cool. You get three archers, two big dragger, double headed weapon guys. Um, I should have four of the, two of them, three of them, three of them. Yeah, three of each. And then you get your, your evil Lich King too. And this is like an adventure set. It's called the... Uh, I can't remember the name. Oh, it's on here actually, so that's where I saw it. It's the Bleak Falls Barrow Delve, so it's like a dungeon crawl. Uh, this would be fun to paint first, so we can give uh, the game a try. It does have some rules for doing dungeon delving and some adventure stuff, so I'm pretty jazzed about it. And then we got starter sets here for um, the, uh, the Nords and um, the Empire. So these are the Nord guys here. And again, all hard hips plastic. This is all styrene, so you can use polystyrene cement on this, and it's nice strong welds when it's all done. Uh, same instruction quality, Bowman, Axeman, double-handed weapon, double-handed weapon, double-handed weapon for the guards, and then for the Empire starter, again, 30 mil lip bases for everybody, nice exploded reference, and I think it's five models again, get your hero type, get a spellcaster, throw on some firebolts, and then you get one, two, three dudes of swords and shields, so... I'm super jazzed to paint this stuff. There's just nice hero miniatures too. Um, but I do love Skyrim. I played the hell out of Skyrim. I made, I did what all, all Skyrim players did and built daggers in the, the Dragon Forge until I was leveled up and had the best gear in the game at like level two. And then went and did all my adventures. But I did Morrowind too and the Shivering Isles and you know, all the expansions for um, you know, the Elder Scrolls game. So there's a piece of plastic on her base that's bothering me. Um, but I'm starting to give these some paint and to see what they look like when they're all done up. Then I got Gore Halfhorn here to build. Some uh, Hunter Hive Scum. This is going to be cool because I feel like he's going to fit right in Dark Uprising. So I'm going to try and find my enforcers and be like, yeah, cannibalism makes for strange bedfellows. <laughs> and I love this miniature, smoking a cigar. He's super duper cool. And then finally we've got some destroyers. Uh, new destroyers came in from Prior to Press, the 8Bots. Um, and Mecha Maxim from the Uber Core, which is the evil bad guys that make um, robot versions of all the other monsters. And I've also got Chuck Dogwood to paint. He's awesome. He's basically Santa Claus. He's got a weird puppet and a stick. He's like, he's formerly one of the druids, basically, from the Circle of Orboros. And uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to paint him. He's a hilarious miniature. So we got another week, another six models done. Man, you can see my production has been slowing down, but obviously the world is a little bit crazy right now. Um, I've been well able to keep up though with uh, with filming, and so 
Everything's kind of just clipping along as normal. You can also see a GMG review of the latest expansion for Warhammer 40,000. Uh, that'll be up today. And for the most part, things are good. So I've had a lot of folks asking how things are going. And um, yeah, I mean, apart from all of the clear busyness, you know, we've, the kids are going to be at home and there's going to be a lot of additional sort of like uh, sort of time requirements for my family. The, the, the vast majority of stuff is unchanged for me. I don't interact with a lot of people. Uh, I just usually have two or three guests per week and we're all sort of practicing safe social distancing, washing our hands, being careful with, you know, going out and mostly just staying home. I, the benefit of this job obviously is that my schedule is incredibly flexible and I should be able to manage hopefully all of this trying times ahead. I hope everyone out there is safe um, and that, yeah, you just, you know, you take, take the time to enjoy a bit of levity and if uh, watching videos of Wargaming online helps you to kind of de-stress and decompress, I hope that, uh, that I can do my bit to get help Get everybody through this and give people something entertaining to watch. So, big thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for Wizards and Wonders. Till next time, I'm Ash. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathrite Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.